Hello and welcome to Satellite Lake Dry Lake Aircraft Flying Facility here at Ridgecrest, California. Uh, this is my new SEMA X5C. I got this about a week ago and have done several flights with it so far. Um, there are some issues with it that I'd like to actually demonstrate in flight for you. Uh, overall, the aircraft is a nice looking aircraft. Um, it has a camera. The uh, pro issue with that camera is that it originally uh, as installed stock, uh, it has a huge downward angle. I would, initially, I would have guessed it was about 20 degrees down. Uh, this is not good. Uh, you mostly get a lot of video of ground when you, with this camera, the way it is in stock. What I've done to the camera, I don't know if you can see here, is I put a, a shim in there that I just hot melt, melt glued in to uh, raise up that angle some so that you can see the horizon in flight. Uh, what I'd like to do now is just do some flight video and demonstration video. I'll take some uh, video in flight, aerial video with this camera to demonstrate how the, uh, the hopefully the improvement that that shim uh, gives to the camera. But also I'd like to show the issues this aircraft has with flight, uh, particularly wobbling. Today we have a slight breeze from the east here, about five miles an hour I'm guessing. Uh, let's see how that affects this aircraft. So, turning it on. Making sure it's on. Yep. Giving it a few seconds for the gyros to spin up. Okay, it's bound. Turn it on the camera by holding down this right button for five seconds. And let's go for a flight. Okay, you see the wind here. Okay, I'm in low rate mode. Okay, I'm going to send it upwind so I can do a, uh, just let the stick go and then just turn it. Actually, I'm not seeing any of those issues yet. <laughs> Seems to be doing very well. Okay, it's out of range. Okay, rebound. I had to rebound it there to get it back into uh, control. Rebinding again. <laughs> That's another issue with this. The first issue is this thing has terrible range. Well, okay. And what this does is it remembers. Here, I'm going to go over here to get into it. Okay. <laughs> As you see there, when this thing flies out of range, it remembers the last input. Instead of just dropping, it'll continue on with the last input it had for several seconds, which can be bad. Luckily, I'm flying at a dry lake, although I don't particularly relish walking around these bushes because it's rattlesnake season. Okay, the camera's still recording. Let's stop that. So that's the first issue. This thing has poor range, and when it flies out of range, it'll remember the last input it had for several seconds before dropping. Once it starts to drop, you have to rebind it. So, because of that, I can see a lot of these aircraft getting lost. <laughs> if you got an X5C, you want to fly in a large open area and keep it close to you. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here for a second and go for another flight. 
Okay, this time I'm keeping it low. I'm putting it in high rate mode. Okay, again, we got that nice breeze here. Now there's the wobbling that you can see with this. Let's fly it more aggressively now. Okay, it's having a hard time fight going into that wind there. Okay, as compared to like a WL Toys or a Hubson, I'm trying to make bank turns on, with this. It goes into all kinds of wobbly, weird, erratic turns. It's really hard to make a smooth bank turn with this quadcopter with the weight that it has. And I'm, I'm guessing it's mainly a weight issue. Let's try that again. Bank turn. It just doesn't want to do a bank turn. <laughs> and the wind's at my back right now and it's flying into the wind here. Okay, just a rudder turn only. It's fine. If you just stick to rudder turns, you'll do okay. When you try to put any bank into this, any aggressive flying at all, it gets gets weird. And I can tell you right now, it's mainly the weight of that camera. It's probably too much for it. Okay, let's take it up a little higher. Taking an up, upwind here. And that's the wind bringing it back to me here. So this requires learning some different flight moves because of that extra weight and weight issues of this aircraft. <laughs> if there is a wind, I recommend flying upwind and then just letting it float. Don't try to fight that wind, it just has a hard time. Okay, I need to fly my other quads here and do some test flights with them, but that's the CMAX 5C. That's, and hover, it's a great little quadcopter if you just or want to hover. But again, if you want to do anything more than hovering, it has issues. See if I can land it on. Oh, there goes some wobbling. <laughs> okay, that's today's test flight of the X5C. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed the flight. <laughs>